the weekend and this is when Delhi heads out to unwind. So we take you to one such place. It's called Neemrana Fort Palace, one of the pioneers of turning Indian heritage monuments and palaces into hotels. Well, it's around a three hour drive from here from the Gurgaon Toll Road and the most convenient way to get there is by road. So I have my chariot waiting here for me. You guys buckle up your seats because we're going to explore the Neemrana Fort Palace on this episode of Delhi on Holiday. As I look out of the window and watch the landscape change, I'm thrilled that I'm getting to explore one of India's oldest heritage resorts. Unlike many people I know, I've never visited this old fort, which is located only three hours away from the capital. A three hour drive on the National Highway 8 from Delhi takes you to the Neemrana Fort Palace. Finally here, had a very smooth ride overall, thanks to of course Eco Rentaka. Well, just as you get off the highway, the Delhi Jaipur Highway and head towards Neemrana Fort Palace, you have to maneuver your car through these really narrow gullies and you have to of course watch out for the camel carts and people which are congesting the gullies. And when you finally reach here, it's amazing that at the end of the gully, you don't expect to see something so grand and majestic. Well, let's head inside and check in. The Neemrana Fort Palace is located in Rajasthan's Alwar district. The fort was built in 1464 AD as the third capital of the descendants of Prithvi Raj Chauhan. In the mid-1980s, author Aman Nath and business partner Francis Vasiark acquired and renovated it, carefully piecing together the ruins so that its royal character was not lost. It is now one of India's oldest heritage resorts. Well, I'm at the Panch Mahal now. There's a very good reason for that because I've been smelling the aroma of food and that's why I've come here. There's a lunch buffet here and I think uh, after hitting the road, uh, I'm kind of hungry right now. So let's check out what they have. Starting with good old non-vegetarian food. Well, every carnivore's best friend is mutton and chicken. And let's see what else is here. Well, continuing with the Indian food. They have something for vegetarians. And my favorite. The one and only paneer. I love it. I know it's fattening, but I don't care. So that one is definitely going to be on my plate. And they have continental food, maybe for those who prefer something lighter. And they have big leeks. Wow. Great. There's rice, there's salad, there's also dessert counter there. But you know what? More than the food, focus here, ambience, atmosphere. And they have great outdoor seating with a great view. So I can't even express it in words because you have to see it for yourself. And nothing like having lovely food out in the winter sun. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing next. I know what I want to have. I'm hitting the plate. Bon appétit. Exclusive at Neemrana's India's first aerial zipline experience, make sure it's on your things to do list. But if you'd rather keep your feet on the ground, visit the Neemrana shop or go for a guided fort tour or simply relax by the pool. You get to relive a bygone era as you walk through the maze like corridors of this charming fort palace. Rooms are identified not by numbers, but by names. As exotic and unique as the style and ambience on offer. Well, like any other fort and palace, Neem Rana also has its back alleys and secret passages. Well, this spot exactly here was the place where the princesses and queens used to look out into the public and watch all the action. Well, this was a part of a zanana. This alley also leads to one of the most spectacular rooms that they have here at the Neemrana Palace. 
It's the Shish Mahal. Let's head inside. Well, this is a room fit for a queen. This is where the queen of Neem Rana was living. And this, of course, is called Shish Mahal because of all the mirrors that decorate this room. And the walls are adorned with pictures of royalty. So you want to feel like royalty for a night? All you need to do is book the Shish Mahal. Well, this is the Malabar Mahal, and as the name suggests, it's inspired by Kerala. Well, I'm told that the furniture here is all gotten from Kerala, and uh, as soon as you enter, you have to mind your head, because there's something hanging on the ceiling there. It's a snake boat, the ones, the common uh, ones that you see being raced in Kerala. You're also welcomed by this lovely view in this window right here. Spacious room, you see, but guess what? It also extends into this corridor, and this is just beautiful. You have these pillars on the side, these wooden pillars, a lot of use of dark wood, and of course reminds you of those homes you find in Cochin. Well, this makes me wonder, why am I not staying in this room? There's a reason for that. It costs 8,000 rupees plus tax. <laughs> And this is the Francis C. Mahal. Well, this room has been inspired by everything from France, from furniture, tapestry, to paintings. And the boardroom you see around the ceiling, well, it's been hand-painted. Well, this was the Mardana Quarter. And of course, if the Raja lived here, he has to have the best. So this is one of the few rooms here at the Neem Rana Palace, which has a personal balcony. Well, this is the bathroom of Badal Mahal, and all the bathrooms in Nimrala Palace are different, just like their rooms. But there is one thing in common that all these bathrooms share, and that is this little note you'll find on the side of your basin. It says, save water. Well, they're very eco-friendly here at the resort, and that's because this is Rajasthan, and water is very scarce here. But if you're expecting a luxurious bubble bath, you're not going to get it in Nimrana Palace. But what you do get is a very beautiful, unique feature. Come with me. Well, this is what I'm talking about, a loo with a view. Well, how many of these bathrooms do you know about in your city or here at Neemrana Palace? But if you're lucky, you might just check into a room with a bathroom with a view like this. Well, the best part about Neem Rana Palace is the beautiful view. Well, you get all sorts of views, and that's because the hotel is on a hillside and has multi-levels. And it's great to sit here on the Shatranj Terrace. Thank you so much. And sip a nice cup of tea and watch the sunset. After the break, I de-stress at the Sancha Spa, enjoy a dinner buffet, and on day two, head to another Nimrana property, the Pataudi Palace. The majestic palace in the Ravalis is a perfect retreat for a peaceful weekend. But if you aren't the person for scenic views and nature, you can always head for the Yogi Nivas. Its Sancha Spa offers a variety of exotic treatments and Ayurvedic rejuvenation programs. Well, I'm at the Apsara treatment room at Sancha Spa and I'm treating myself to a Swedish deep tissue massage. Well, I decided I'd better pamper myself before I go out and wine and dine.
Then there's the amphitheater for music recitals and any other performances. For business discussions, Nimrana has open air conference spaces overlooking the scenic countryside. Mundane meetings will never be the same. It also has indoor conference rooms with traditional aesthetics. Some very prestigious meetings have taken place within these ancient walls, the Indo Park Peace Initiative for one. Behind me is the place where we had lunch. During the day, of course, you have a spectacular view, and in the evening, it turns into this magical wonderland full of lights. And what makes the experience better? A glass of red wine. Or white if you want. They have Chardonnay, they have Chablis, they also have sparkling wine and champagne. And as for food, I've decided to keep it light this evening because I want to keep some space for dessert. For its breathtaking view and regality, Nimrana is also the destination for a fairy tale wedding. Many have said I do standing on this majestic hillside. So this is my room, the Jalaj Mehal, also known as the Lotus Room. I think it's time to call it a night. I've wine, dined, and pampered myself. And to keep me warm through the night, they have left a hot water bottle for me. So I think it's time to say good night. Good morning. Well, I had a very restful night here at Neem Rana Fort Palace. Yesterday, we showed you these magnificent rooms, but they all come at a price. And of course, I decided to go for something much more affordable. And it's this quaint little room, very comfortable, and has this modest balcony looking out into a great view. You know what? It does not have a television or a telephone, but I didn't miss either of them. Because mornings are like this, peaceful. All you hear are birds chirping. Well, I'm very used to of course, Delhi, where you just hear traffic, you hear sirens, and wake up to something much more hectic. But this is very calming, very peaceful. But unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. But of course, we're going to head to another Nimrana property, and that's the Pataudi Palace. century fort, we are now headed to a 20th century colonial palace. I think it's a perfect getaway for those who don't want to venture too far from the city because it's located right ahead of Gurgaon. I hear it's a good stopover for lunch on your way back to the city and that's where I'm headed now, Pataudi Palace. Halfway between Nimrana and Delhi on National Highway 8 is the Pataudi Palace. Driving down from Delhi, turn right 13 kilometers after Manasar and head for the Bilaspur Chowk. Follow the signages till you get to the palace. Well, you know what? Doesn't take long to figure out that this experience is going to be completely different from the one at Nimrana Fort Palace. First of all, to start with, look at the manicured gardens and the lawns they have here, and lovely oasis in the middle of Haryana. Well, it's time to head inside for lunch, but before that, I'm going to find out a bit more about the history of the Nawabs of Pataudi. Nawab Ibrahim Ali Khan built this pristine white palace in 1935. It's been home to the erstwhile Nawabs of Pataudi.
But one thing you must do here at the Pataudi Palace is to walk down this corridor which is full of memories and nostalgia. Well, starting off right here, you have young Iftikhar Ali Khan Pataudi during his Oxford University days. And you also have him here as a young cricketer when he was playing the controversial Bodyline series. Well, he's the only cricketer who played both for England and for India. And right here, his handsome son, Mansoor Ali Khan Pataudi, who got married to Sharmila Tagore of Bollywood fame. Probably the first time we saw a marriage between cricket and Bollywood when Mansoor Ali Khan became the captain at only 21 years of age and he was probably one of the most successful because he gave us our first victory, overseas victory against New Zealand. And right here you have him, very young, right there, looking very handsome still. Well, this is definitely a must-do here at the Pataudi Palace. Spacious rooms, high ceilings, huge four-post beds, old-style bathrooms and stunning verandas are what the colonial Pataudi Palace is about. A must visit if you wish to vacation like a Nawab. My weekend comes to an end now. I had a very relaxing stay and you can have one too because these hotels are only a few hours away from Delhi. Well, the best part is that Neem Rana hotels are preserving history by making these places affordable and accessible for everyone.